lives, transforming communities. This is the mission of the Vijayaratnam Foundation. The foundation was mooted by Dato Vijay Ishwaran, the executive chairman of the QI group of companies, to continue the philanthropic work started by his father, Mr. Vijayaratnam, 60 years ago. The Maharani project is targeted at adolescent girls aged 13 to 16 years old. This project, themed The Princess in You, aims to nurture strong personal foundations in young women that will help them embrace their future in more positive ways. This project, which comprises of camps, seminars, conferences, magazines, support centers and such, has embarked on Maharani Camp as one of its first initiatives. I take myself as an example, um, not anybody else, from who I am and, and what I have become. And I have these strong feelings about women should always be independent and, and have an education. And to go out there and do something um, by yourself. Targeted to let shine the princess in every teenager, these camps are tailored to inspire and build their confidence. The camp is open to all Malaysians. For the year 2010, a total of nine exciting camps were conducted in various states with a total participation of 980 girls. Beaming faces, cheerful smiles and a vibrant enthusiasm lingered in the air as these girls took on the challenge of role playing, dancing and various other activities. Okay, Maharani untuk meningkatkan ilmu pengetahuan, lepas tu menjadikan diri lebih berkeyakinan. The activities at the camp had a personal touch as the staff of Vijayaratnam Foundation were present to encourage, motivate and bond with the teenagers. These camps consist of five components that focus on gender, ethnicity and culture, reproductive health and sexuality, physical, mental and spiritual health, rejuvenation and dream building, recreational activities and team building. Pertama sekali saya ucapkan tanah kepada Yayasan Vijaya Ratnam lah sebab uh, antara yayasan yang uh, peka dan bersungguh-sungguh untuk membangunkan terutamanya uh, untuk golongan wanita dan perempuan. While envisioning the Maharani camp was a work of passion for the Vijaya Ratnam Foundation, making it work posed challenges. But the drive and determination to ensure the teenage girls had the exposure that would help them grow into matured adults allowed the camps to materialize. Our biggest challenge, I mean, when we started, of course, we thought this was going to be easy, but, um, you know, until you actually go through the process, then you start to understand, oh, it's not. Because, see, we're not giving them as in education in a school but this is the education of life. So um, if you are going to teach them who they are and what they want to be, then we always say it's very much a part of your culture, your religion, and your environment, your community. So without having this as part of training, you cannot train, you cannot educate these girls on a, on a wholesome life. And that's the challenge we face. Activities carried out during the camps were planned to prepare the girls to face and overcome numerous obstacles in their transition to adulthood. They were also tailored to increase their self-esteem, self-confidence and cultural pride. Malaysia is a multiracial country with Malays making up the largest segment of the population followed by the Chinese and Indians. While the foundation aims to integrate these camps into one comprising of all races, the individual camps were held using Malay, Chinese and Tamil as the medium of communication to enable the kids to be more at ease. I always believe that this kind of camp is actually very important. I mean, basically looking at the parents in Malaysia, they're very protective of for the girls. And I think having these camps and uh, teaching them to be aware of their body is very important so that they know what are the uh, precautions they need to take probably and uh, any other information that they need to understand. Because I believe sex education is still 
being debated in school. Yeah. Apart from that, they're they they free to interact with the other girls and probably exchange a lot of um, information among each other. And I think that's important among young girls. Another aspect about it is that it is good to be away from parents sometimes because we always forget about the developmental stage these girls go through. And this is the time I think they need to separate away from home and learn to be more independent. Coming from different homes and ethnic backgrounds, the girls learn to adapt themselves to a new environment and also make new friends. While there were initial hiccups, the girls quickly made friends, learned to share their break time with their newfound friends and established closer bonds. During the camps, the participants had a chance to listen to fiery motivational talks by motivators and guest speakers and also take part in ice-breaking activities. While some of the subjects brought up at the talk sessions were sensitive like sexuality and reproductive health, the girls were surprisingly open to listening and understanding issues relating to their basic health rights. And it is not just the girls who are excited to join the camps. Their parents too share their excitement as they believe these camps are beneficial for their children's overall development. Participants who have successfully completed the camps are given certificates of participation. The finale of these camps could sometimes be emotional, indicating the level of bonding that has been created among the girls and their mentors. Uh, this camp be, uh, give me a lot of uh, advantage. Like uh, I can learn a lot of stuff from here, like uh, how to cooperate with those uh, members, and then uh, I can show off my leadership to bring uh, bring out the whole gang to go for the competition. Benda ni malah ni memang patut pergi ke semua tempat dan patut menyebarkan macam kempen macam ni lah sebab yalah macam tak semua je perempuan a uh, mempunyai semangat yang tinggi. Mungkin ada semangat yang tinggi tapi sebabkan yalah tekanan orang sekeliling uh, sebabkan jadi bila ada kem Maharani ni membangkitkan lagi motivasi pada diri perempuan untuk terus maju ke depan. Ada tak Maharani kan macam nak tahu. For the Vijayaratnam Foundation, the last day of these camps signals a new beginning and brighter scopes for future engagements with different groups of girls in their unending quest to make their lives empowered. What I want to see is actually for these girls to grow up. Now that's a process, it's going to take time. For them to move forward and maybe they could help us carry on another Maharani camp. But the thing is, we can't drop these kids just after a camp or two because we need to move on with some of them and then continue to nurture them until they reach a stage where they can they understand completely what they need to from these camps and they would actually apply that in their life that's my vision